What's up everybody? Jordan Stoltz here with another video. Today is another day of farm work here on Stoltz Farm Incorporated in Central North Dakota. Thank you for joining me. And let's get started today's video. We're likely going to finish up some of that restoration of that old disc that we were working on in the previous video. Probably gonna continue on with that. And if we have time before dark, which they're pretty short days now, but if we have time, we'll load out some soybeans. That's what's in store today. Thank you for joining me for another one. And let's get started. What's up, pipes? Go, Nini. You ready to work? So we'll do a little progress check on this disc. In the last video when we were actually working on it, it was all on edit, so we didn't explain what was going on, but I did explain we had to fix these discs that were kind of loose and sideways. So we did get those done. So you can see these are all nice and straight now. We had to take off these scrapers up top here. We just have to put those back on over on this other side. We just have to put those on this side so we're all set there. Basically just the middle part broke out of the discs, which was why they were floppy. Here's an example of that. This is a disc that's fixed and welded. So the middle is the smaller hole, about an inch. And then this is a broken one with this middle piece busted out, which is why they are loose. So that's probably the first thing we finish up today. Maybe we'll get it done nice and early and be able to do some soybean loading. I'll let you guys know. This is just gonna be kind of reconstructing this thing and finishing up the one little section that we have left after the last video. Slide on better. No, not yet, huh? There must be more there. Sell it. There we go. Ah, yes. We should be good to lift it up, right? Into place. Mm hmm. So the main part of this disc, now that the little assembly here is all slid on, we do have to put on these scrapers, which shouldn't be too hard when we have the back to lift them into place. Now we pretty much just have to put this, we had to drop it down to get the stuff off with this in the way. So you pretty much just have to lift this back up to here. So we're gonna use the backhoe for that as well. Just load her it up, take the load off of it. And then we just got to bolt this up. It's the reverse of what we did in the last video to take it down. And then it's just minor stuff, like putting on the scrapers and airing up the tires, greasing it, and that kind of thing. So it shouldn't be too long. Probably get it done pretty fast. So let's bring in the big guns. close as we thought possibly last update I gave you I said we were a little bit away and we have a little bit more to do here this bearing right here is out as well um, so we're gonna need to take off a lot more of this and probably just roll this whole unit out so we can work on it not as close as we thought but the initial work on this went pretty fast so hopefully it's not too big of a pain 
not necessarily a kick in the nuts it's more just a little bit of added time onto this project so we're gonna rip away at this i'll time lapse it and uh i guess check back in once it's all put together and we start doing the other stuff on this disc <laughs> folks the sun is starting to set as you can see and kind of just the way it goes sometimes we're pretty much back where we started after several hours of work here still got to put the scrapers on still got to air the tires grease the disc we ended up having to take all of these off as you saw to replace this bearing right there since that nut is different on that end we got to slide everything this way so pretty much back at the beginning point and uh, we're just gonna finish tightening this up before calling it a day. Well, everyone, today just kind of turned out to be a work vlog over here on the farm, working on that same piece of equipment as last time because we found the extra bearing out. I tell you guys what, working on that thing is hard work. That's a lot of heavy metal in there. Some of it's pretty stubborn. If it's been sitting there for years, some of those nuts are hard to turn. It's barely does so much and uh, hard work, but uh, it is the end of the day. And it's the end of the week. It's Friday night, so I'm probably gonna be ending the vlog here, even though it might be on the shorter side. Thank you for watching. And if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe to it. Lots of good stuff coming. This content right now, pretty yard work oriented uh, because we are kind of in the off season for farming with the tractors and other stuff like that. I plan on doing some pretty neat videos about um, featuring different pieces of equipment, talking about the specifics, nuts and bolts, if you will, of each tractor that we have and kind of showing you everything with it, making little edits for it and things like that. That'll be to come as well. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Like this video to support the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Got a lot of work done today. Kind of ended up right back where we started, but we did change that bearing. So success. Talk to you guys later.